So here are five myths and facts regarding the COVID-19 in pregnancy. Hi, I'm Dr. Apurva Pallam Reddy from Phoenix Speciality Clinic, Bangalore. The coronavirus disease or the COVID-19 is a new strain that is discovered in 2019 and has not been previously identified in humans, but unfortunately has been transferred from animals. Common signs of the infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure and sometimes even death. There has been a lot of concern regarding the rapid spread of the virus and understandably, there are a lot of misconceptions about the disease. So here are five myths and facts regarding the COVID-19 in pregnancy. The coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from common cold to more severe conditions like Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndromes. Myth number one, pregnant women are not at a higher risk of developing COVID-19. In pregnancy, women's immunity system are naturally weakened so that the mother's body doesn't reject the developing baby, thus putting them at a higher risk of developing any sort of bacterial and viral infections, including the coronavirus. Hence, like elderly people, pregnant women are also at a higher risk of developing COVID, especially those women who are already suffering from conditions like asthma, hypertension, or even diabetes. So the fact is, Pregnant women are at a higher risk of developing COVID. Myth number two, traveling by a train or bus is safe as compared to flight travel. Now that most offices have announced a work from home system, pregnant women want to travel back to their hometowns either by trains or car and feel that it's going to be much safer for them to be in a tier two city. Now there are two problems with this scenario. One, any means of travel will have a higher incidence of social interaction and thus will put you at a higher risk of developing infection as compared to just staying put at home. Two, moving away from a metropolitan city is not going to isolate you from the infection. The more people that travel from one city to another, the higher will be the risk of infection spreading. Also, you're moving away from a place where more people are equipped to handle the disease. So fact, any means of travel should be avoided to prevent the spread of the infection, especially during pregnancy. Myth number three, there is nothing that we can do to stop the spread. Now, COVID is not exclusively a zoonotic condition anymore. The spread is mainly from human or fomite contact. So what is a fomite? Any object or material which are likely to carry the infections, such as clothes, utensils, and even furniture. So building up your immunity so that your body can fight against the virus and ensuring basic hygiene like washing hands for a minimum of 20 seconds, maintaining 3 to 6 feet distance from people despite of them having cough or not is a key. Vitamin C rich foods like oranges, lemon, mosambi, antioxidant rich diet like bell peppers, broccoli, garlic, ginger, spinach and almonds, even turmeric and kiwi are great in building your immunity. Sipping hot water and green tea intermittently is also a perfect way for pregnant women to stay safe and from developing the COVID infection. So the fact, social distancing and immunity building is the best way to contain the spread of the disease. One small tip, please ensure that you close the tap water during those 20 second duration of hand washing. Because once all this is over, we might still need water to survive. Myth number four, the mask is not required if you do not have cough. Now an average person touches his or her face almost 5,000 times in a day. So there is a good possibility that you're carrying infection from a door handle you just touched directly to your face. Using a mask will minimize the contact between your hands and mouth and nose. Use a surgical mask or an N95 mask only if you have cough. Even a simple cloth mask should be sufficient to reduce the risk of transmission. You can even wash the cloth mask in hot water for 15 minutes in order to kill any residue virus. So the fact, use a mask at all times. Myth number five, the baby will get COVID if the mother has infection. Now, as of now, there is no evidence that the virus transmits from the mother to the baby, either inside the womb, during delivery, or even while breastfeeding. Adhering to the three simple step principle of social distancing, 
wearing mask at all the times while handling the baby and washing hands up to the elbow for a minimum of 20 seconds every time you touch the baby is good enough. Mothers should continue to breastfeed because this will build the immunity system of the infant and probably protect the baby as well. Hope this video clears a lot of confusion and myths about COVID and you have a safe and healthy pregnancy.